As soon as that dog set eyes on my dog, it attacked her with the intent to kill it. After an overnight stay at the vet, six-year-old Siberian husky Nala is now recovering at home with her owner, Daniel Gerbic. Nala was in critical condition after a dog attack left her with four severe puncture wounds. It was an incident Gerbic is still processing. I was in shock. I was traumatized. I, I'm still trying to get over everything that happened. You can still see chunks of fur here where the attack occurred. Gerbic says she was walking Nala along this pathway Saturday evening around 5 o'clock when a young boy with a dog she estimates to be about 120 pounds came around the corner. She says that dog within seconds locked eyes on Nala, charged at her and then locked its jaw on her back. So the dog did have locked jaw on Nala's back for about 15 seconds, aggressively ripping her around like a rag doll. Uh, and Nala's a 70 pound husky, so you can imagine what that would be like if it was a much smaller dog. She says the other dog was dark brown in color and looked like a Staffordshire Terrier, a muscular breed. She believes the young boy was no more than 15 years old. In the commotion, Gerbig didn't think to get more information from him before he left, but now she's put up signs warning the neighborhood about the dog and is desperately looking for its owners. We have tons of children playing around on the grass. We have a lot of little dogs. This could have been such, this could have been catastrophic if it was any other situation with another dog or, you know, God forbid, a little child. Nala is mostly housebound for the next two weeks. She now has 30 stitches and a drainage tube in her back. Her medical bill so far, more than $3,000. I don't want to see another dog go through this. I don't want to see a person go through this. Now, Toronto Animal Services is currently investigating the incident. Gerbic says at this point she's not angry at the owners, but she does want them to come forward so she can have a conversation with them about responsible dog ownership and prevent incidents like this from happening in the future. In North York, Erica Natividad, City News.